What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion 9 tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to import OpenStreetMap maps and buildings into Lumion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so we're going to start off and we're just going to pick a um, template file. In this case, I'm probably just going to pick the plane for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this in using that plane. Or I'm going to go ahead and select the plane preset in here and so you can see how when I do this you look around there's nothing actually inside my rendering right now so I have a high frame rate everything else what we want to do is we want to import a location using OpenStreetMap data and so in order to do that you're gonna go into the landscape tab and you're just gonna go find the option for OpenStreetMap and so when you do this there's gonna be nothing in here except the on off button so we're gonna go ahead and click on this in order to turn the OpenStreetMap on. So when I do that, that's going to check my internet connection to make sure that it's uh, that it's working, and then it's going to give me a little message saying, "Hey, this is the beta version." So in Lumion 9, this is still kind of a beta thing, and we're going to go ahead and click OK. And so now. What we need to do is we need to set a location. And so you can set a location by clicking on this, this uh, set of coordinates right here. That's going to pop up some kind of a map. And so in this case, I'm just going to look for Denver, Colorado. And we're just going to zoom into an area. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the X button here to get this to go away. But what we're going to do is we're going to find a certain area inside of Denver. And so you can see how there's this little push pin in here that you can click and drag around. You can use this to move this around and select different areas inside of Denver itself. So in this case specifically, I'm going to go drag in the area kind of over by Coors Field. So there's a lot of cool kind of interesting buildings and things like that over here. So Coors Field is right here that's the baseball field in Denver and you can see how I'm getting Coors Field here but I'm not getting much more well you can adjust the range of your map by clicking and dragging this slider so you can see I can move this back and forth in order to adjust the size of stuff that you bring in now I will note don't bring in more than you need because a you're just bringing a bunch of stuff in and you're just gonna slow this down for no reason but B because it takes a long time to navigate around when you do that because you're looming and rendering itself gets really big and so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna select um I'm going to go ahead and select this area and then once you have the area that you want selected you can click the button for start download and what that's going to do is that's going to query the database the OpenStreetMap database and it's actually going to download the map and generate your buildings inside of Lumion and so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit And so you can see how that brought in the buildings from this general area inside your model. And you'll notice I'm holding the shift key and uh, using my W, A, S, and D keys in order to move around. And you can see how because this is so big, this is still kind of slow. And so what I'm going to do in this case is you can actually hold down the space bar while you're doing that. So I'm actually holding down the W, um, the shift, and the space bar in order to really kind of speed up moving around in here. And so now let's take a look at a little bit of what we have inside this model. So um, if you look, So you can see how this brings in um, different areas, so like green areas and uh, brings in your different roads and areas that are kind of set as buildings as well as the buildings themselves. And so you can kind of adjust some things about this by clicking on the little edit button. So if we click on the little edit button, that's gonna give us a few different options. The first option I wanna talk about is really important. That option is the ability to hide different buildings. So let's say for example that we were gonna put a building on this site, well this is already generated a building in here well you need to have the ability to hide that so all you have to do in order to hide that is just click on it and uh, um, while you have the hide buildings tool active and now if I click the OK button you can see how that building's not actually going to show up and then if you want to bring it back you just go back into edit mode you just click on the building again and then you click OK so you can uh, hide or unhide buildings by doing that so I could I could hide whatever buildings I wanted to just by going in and clicking on them. So that can be really valuable when you need to come in here and like drop a building on this certain site. So the next thing you can do is you can also move your map.
in much the same way that you can move anything else in Lumion, meaning you just have to find this kind of center base point and then you can move this around. So you can move this around um, on the XY like this. There's also a button in here to change the height. That's actually kind of important because you can see if I move this down, this actually keeps the ground plane below this actually keeps the ground plane below what you're bringing in. So if you bring this in and it's too low, then the ground plane is actually gonna block it. And the other thing about that is if you turn grass on, so like let's say for example, that I was to go out of this and I was to turn on my landscape grass, and my height here wasn't quite right, like this, you can see how that grass will actually show through. So um, depending on what you're trying to do, being able to adjust the height so that that grass doesn't show through on just your general um, open street map like this is gonna be really important. So in addition, you can also rotate this. So if you need to adjust the orientation of what you bring in, you can rotate this in the same way. And you can see how this gives you these really helpful north, south, east, and west um, indicators in here so that you can rotate this to actually line up with the way that everything needs to be inside a Lumion. And then the last thing that you can adjust in here is you can go in and you can change the appearance. So um, you can do a few different things in here. So first of all, you can set presets for kind of the colors of your buildings and the way everything's gonna look in here. Um, so there's six different presets for that. You can also turn on and off things like uh, earth and buildings roads, um, the different land uses, so a few different things that you can turn on and off in here. And then the other thing that's going to be important is um, the ability to adjust the minimal height of the buildings. So you can see how some of these buildings, you can actually adjust the minimal height in here um, so that they show up as taller. So if you don't like the way that some of those buildings are looking, you can adjust that slider. And then the other thing you can do is you can also randomize the height of those buildings because a lot of these buildings don't necessarily have the height data associated with them. Um, when they get brought in from OpenStreetMap. So you can see how you can adjust this to kind of change the way different things look um, inside of your Lumion rendering. So one thing you can't really do right now that I'm aware of is I do not believe you can come in here and adjust the materials. So like I can't come in here and adjust any of these materials or anything like that. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will be along to let me know shortly. Um, and then you could also because as far as I know, there's not a way to bring in terrain with this right now. Um, but what you could do is you could actually come in here and you could adjust the ground um, beneath some of these areas. So if you needed the landscape terrain to show through, you could actually use the landscape tools in order to do that. And then you could use that to show like grass or different things like that as well. So you can see how it's really easy for me to bring this in. And then once I kind of bring this up, I could probably like flatten it all out to make like a big pad or something like that. So you can adjust landscapes in here, but the trick is you're just doing that by bringing that up through the ground. So when I think in a future video, we'll talk about a way to kind of move cars through and stuff like this to kind of animate like a cityscape. Um, for right now, I think I'm not going to talk about that in this video. There's also some things you could do with uh, OpenStreetMap data in SketchUp and then bring that in instead of using the OpenStreetMap inside of here. So if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment below and let me know. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how to get started with the OpenStreetMap data inside of Lumion. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Is this something you've used before? Or do you have any great tips and tricks for working with this stuff? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.